a city where shadows hide more than secrets. Two detectives step out of the fog, not to solve crimes, but to crack business cases. We dig into the numbers, dissect the strategy, and shine a light on what needs fixing. Welcome to Business Noir, where every episode is a new case, and every case has a story. Uh, welcome back in our third episode. Um, we have to, we want to talk about the changes that we made. I think it would be like mm -hmm. a very interesting way to, because we we have a lot of changes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The first uh, is like uh, Placebo Paradox is promote, is producing this podcast. Mm -hmm. it's, a, we, it's a part of the, all the events and things that we're doing actually uh, mm -hmm. to promote our services and who we are and what we're doing. And um, Placebo Paradox is basically the main website, the main project, and then we, we do different things. Mm -hmm. And the second, the second of all is like we are learning from our mistakes from the episode number one and episode number two, because it was our first, I mean, it was a test, it was some... Some kind of like, like uh, the, the first uh, attempt, yeah. Always yeah, like exactly. learning by doing. Yeah, and now we are introducing video, as you can see. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, and uh, it's a challenge because it is a lot of work. But I think we want to do it because I think it's more like entertaining. Uh, yeah, let's yeah, say, it's, let's say it's it. like visual is always better than only so, yeah. audio. And also because we are introducing uh, a video, a video for the new case. We this we thought that would be very interesting to show uh, to make an interview uh, an interview mm -hmm. video for the person who is seeking for help in this in yep. the in the episode. So uh, so I think video will be even actually more necessary than ever. Yep. To to begin that, the other really big change I want to um, we are exci really excited about it is like we got in partnership with Cluster Coworkings in Krakow mm -hmm. and is one of the, I mean, for me, it's the best uh, co-working space in, in Krakow, in Poland, actually. Yeah. And we have a new space, as yeah. you can see. We have a new space. Uh, the guys from Cluster are like letting us record in here. Uh, they're like very nice. The space is amazing. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Damian. Thank you <laughs> for letting <laughs> us you, doing that. Yeah. Uh, one more thing uh, that it's interesting, just just for fun. If you listen our previous episodes, we uh, mentioned the name of the podcast as Two Shadows of Business. That was the first name, but then we found a better name while, like after the episodes were recorded already. So we decided to go with it. So, guys, welcome to Business Noir. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> welcome. Welcome again. If you like the the Two episodes, the first two episodes. I think you're gonna love it, this one, yeah, actually, because just, we ha you will have more things to interact. Actually. It's it's gonna just get better from here. Uh, the other thing I want to I want to tell before before anything is like to uh, announce your idea because I think your idea was really good. Mm -hmm. uh, to we are gonna divide the podcast in three blocks, mm -hmm. more or less. It depends. It depends on every case, because I think it's like it's gonna be more dynamic. It's yeah. gonna give us more. Um, more things to talk. We, you are gonna uh, appreciate at the end. Yeah, it's gonna be the... easier to listen. Exactly. Dividing the the podcast in, in three blocks, so you know you you don't you know it's 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 gonna be like not not all as like speaking for one hour and thirty minutes straightforward. Yeah. So it's good for for everybody. So, yeah. but we'll see. Like eventually there will be a lot of changes in the in the next weeks because this is what we do even like in the in the business we try things and we see what works what doesn't work don't commit to any idea that it's not working but never stop trying new things no, that's true that's, that's, true. that's that part is. of our philosophy right so yeah exactly so I think the um, I don't know the other thing is like if you are listening this podcast by any chance and you have a business mm -hmm. you want you have an idea you, you want to develop something 
in Krakow or in Poland or any other or any other place in the world because basically thanks to internet yeah, it's easier than ever. <laughs> it's easier than ever to reach any any other place. So call us, send us a message, uh, send us a comment. I mean, mm, we can we can talk about it. We can just yeah. uh, we can help you. I th- we will be like very 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 happy to to hear about you. Yeah, and you can be part of this podcast. You can be one of the cases. Exactly, and nothing else. I mean, welcome uh, to Business Noir. Welcome. Yeah, uh, this is Borja Nico. And I think that with no further ado, we can go with today's case. Yeah. Let's go for it. I'm really excited about this because okay. I, I, this case is really like, uh, because it touched me really in a way. I don't know. It's, I think uh-huh. it's very interesting. Um, I recently, I just got uh, uh, contact with a uh, um, uh, woman. Mm-hmm. It's, her name is Daria. Mm-hmm. She's from Ukraine. And... Um, She's a therapist, she's a, a psychologist, but specialized in women, okay. which is really, really interesting. That's so I met with her um, some weeks ago, and then we, I recorded the interview, which I'm going to uh, show you now. Okay. And you also, you will see on the, on the video. Um, ba, 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 let me check, because no, I don't know what is it. Ah, here, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Uh, welcome and thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for inviting. Uh, it was a, it's a pleasure. Uh, just please tell us your name and uh, what you do. My name is Daria Anishinka. I'm a psychologist working with women, giving therapy, trying to make women happier and more free mm. in their life. Okay. Um, you talk about your audience. You, do you talk? Do you have therapy or services for only uh, Ukrainian women or Russian-speaking women, or you also do other languages? Um, usually, my audience is uh, Russian-speaking women. Uh, it, no matter in what country you live, it's uh, the main point: the language you speak. Because I'm from Ukraine and. Uh, I was raised in uh, Russian region uh, and uh, language. So for me to express myself, to express my thoughts and my knowledge, it's uh, more easier in my own language. Um, tell, tell us more about your products and services that you have. Uh, today, um, most of my services, it's online therapy. Uh, and I have uh, organizing um, a small therapy club for women, some close space where women can communicate, chat. It's a group, group sessions. Everything is online. Yes. Do, do you do something also offline? In, uh, uh, yes, I'm trying to express myself offline in some psychology clubs that uh, are in our city. Also, I'm trying to new uh, connections with new, with uh, new people who also at the same plus minus topic and uh, knowledge. So yes, I'm trying to make uh, offline uh, connections too. Okay. Um, do you uh, work online because of the language, or because you want to have uh, you don't want to establish yourself here? Um, most because of the language because I don't speak Polish and. Um, Yes, mostly because of the language. Would you consider, for example, like having services in English? Mm, I think I can. Yes, but I didn't have an opportunity to try. Okay. okay. Maybe, but you're open to it. Maybe yes. Yeah. It's okay. possible for me. In Polish, for sure not. And for today, no. Okay. okay. You need to still more knowledge of the language. And... I need to study the language and I need to study this uh, psychology vocabulary. Okay. To work uh, with it, but for today, no. Okay, understood. Um, okay, uh, let's talk about the marketing and branding. Um, how do you announce yourself? How you um, promote yourself? Um, today, I'm working most on social media. I'm trying to promote myself online there, and also when I make offline connections, I'm trying to express myself, what I do, 
how I do it, uh, what topics I work on, and I'm trying to talk about it as more as possible. And uh, if I see that people interested in it, I'm trying to share more. Okay, because you're, we're talking about do you do it basically online mm -hmm. uh, services, so you need to explore more than ever online communities and online services because it's the distance, right? Yes, now I understand that working online I need to <laughs> to express some simple things more harder or more longer because of this uh, yeah, distance, because of camera, because people don't see me in life mm -hmm. and they don't feel maybe my energy, my thoughts, my uh, worldview, so I need to work uh, longer and uh, maybe more um, specific. Mm -hmm. more specific. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's talk about um, how long have you been uh, doing the business? Uh, I'm doing uh, psychology and therapy around three plus years, but uh, in social media I start to express myself since April 2024. Okay. Half, so half of the year. Half a year. Ago, yes. Okay. I started do it proper and every day, every day, every day, like. Okay. And uh, how is about the, uh, so you have a website, do you have an Instagram, do you have a, what's I have Instagram, you? yes. And now I'm thinking to organize at least a small website. Uh, then people can find me, but usually uh, social media works much faster than website. Which social media you have? Instagram. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only Instagram? Yes, for today. Okay, okay. okay. Um, let's talk about the customers. Uh, how do you normally get feedback from the customers? Mm -hmm. um, usually I'm asking what they like, do they like the process, do they uh, get what they want, uh, uh, how do they feel, Is, do they feel the result, do they feel that their question or their state is solving. And usually I get feedback from the women that yes, no, plus, minus, good, very good. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, let's talk about like your goals. What would you like to achieve? What do you think it's not working? What do you think it's something that you can change or you should change? Um, for today, my goal is to raise the audience. I want to make um, more popular my Instagram account, my online uh, services. So the main goal for today for me is to grow with the audience. Um, what was the second part? <laughs> the second the part is what would you like to change? What would you like to improve? Uh -huh. um, well, I'm not very good at uh, marketing. I'm not very good at this um, program uh, side, side of um, social media. Uh, but I'm not good at um, technical things. Okay. Uh, so, like, to make a uh, brand, to make um, advertising, I don't know, to make some uh, gifts for people. So, I don't know these triggers, I don't know this marketing side. And I have the big question in, me, in my head that it means that I need to get a new profession <laughs> to work, <laughs> to be successful in social media. I need to get a, a new profession. Uh, because it's completely not mm, what I like to do and what I want to do. It's not uh, natural me. Mm -hmm. uh, these uh, numbers, I don't know, statistic. No, it's completely not how my brain works. Uh, I'm working on uh, creative things and I like it. But it looks like to I need to combine these sites mm -hmm. and how to do it. Okay. I, I really don't don't have this knowledge. I don't have this knowledge, and I think it's important, but I know I don't know how it works. And um, would you like to grow in some way in a specific? Do you have any kind of let's say program or um, set of goals written down 
on, on your computer or on your paper, say like, for example, I want to achieve this, I want to do these things. You have it noted down? Uh, you mean uh, like in life or in profession? In, in your profession, yeah. In my profession. Yes, I have this, uh, uh, I always write down diaries and I like to um, structure my thoughts on paper. Yes, and I always thinking, analyzing, trying to find what working with me, what is the best uh, with me because I heard uh, and hear and listen uh, a lot of uh, different um, masters in advertising, in marketing. Yes, but as I said, my brain's <laughs> not working like this. So for me, it's harder to find what is really working with me. Mm -hmm. So yes, I'm trying to uh, write down what I understand, what I don't understand, what I want to do, what I don't want to do. Mm, it's always the process that I'm trying to analyzing what is good, what is bad. I need to sort what I'm taking, what I'm living. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the next step will be like we are going to uh, show the video and we are going to put the video on the podcast. Okay. And we will analyze everything that uh, we, we do all the, uh, in, in every episode to try to find solutions, keys and advices and we're going to be like trying to solve the case, let's say. Try Super. to find some um, things that it can change, some things that maybe cannot change, and trying to give you a feedback, a professional feedback about what, what will be our mm -hmm. point of view and how to grow and how to focus on the things that you want to do and leave aside all these problems and all these, all these obstacles mm -hmm. that make you... Uh, stuck. Yeah, super. Yeah, I will okay. be very grateful. <laughs> yeah, we will be like uh, very <laughs> to see soon. your yeah, exactly. expert point of view. Yes, exactly. and to show me what I don't see, what I miss, and what I don't understand. Really, we will try our best. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, it's it's a very interesting case. Uh, I already like took some notes, and like the there are a couple of things I will start saying. It's First, like it's totally understandable what she means with the fact that you know she wants to open a business, but then she needs to be doing like thousand things at the same time instead of focusing on what she actually does. Yeah, which is why, like this is the the whole reason of of our of of Placebo Paradox and making this this podcast is to help people. Like, so people can focus on whatever they're doing and doing it well, while we can take care of the rest. Uh, second, the it's it's a very targeted uh, business, which is this is very positive because clearly it has strengths and weaknesses. But the good thing is like the the it's very clear what she wants. It's yeah. like Russian speaking women, open to English, which is good. But I guess that the main the main audience it's Russian speaking women. I uh, think that we can we can go for it and, and start getting like what what are your first thoughts on that? The first thoughts is like um, basically I would like to analyze how good is the idea. Let's say or can can we improve the main idea? Okay, you have a business for therapy only for women, Russian speaking, which is really good. Also, as you as she said and you said, I opening to. English. Okay. There is any f possibilities to improve on this kind of product? Because I think it is. I mean, I think it's like mm, she has she has the skills. Mm -hmm. She has the the medium, which is basically like online. Yeah. The uh, obstacle that you can find is people like who doesn't really. Um, have the the um, because I, I, when I've been into therapy, I prefer one hundred percent more um, one on one. Yeah, like uh, in the place, face to face. Yeah, 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 same. But I remember when the last uh, therapy I was doing, it was like f I started offline and on site, mm -hmm. but then I moved here to Poland, so just um, uh, it was online. Yeah, and there is some. I think it's kind of like. Um, 
it's very interesting to see. It was very interesting to see the changes. Yeah. And I think you can focus on that. I mean, she can focus on that. She can focus on like how to make the experience better for these for this for these people and for online people and communicated before. Yeah. Uh, that's it, that the, the two things I was thinking too is like the the economical part of it is as well like very different because the online part it doesn't have any cost. Basically, you know, it's it's very cheap. It's very easy to to do. Offline, like in, in person, then we are adding a layer that it's the, you know, you need a room to to work. You need some physical space to meet with people, which is not bad because the audience that she's targeting, it's actually a, an audience that she can find in this city. We're in Krakow. In Krakow, there is yeah. a lot of Russian speaking women coming from, from Belarus, Ukraine, someone. But that's it. But that's the thing. Where is she targeting? Is she targeting in, in Ukraine? Is she targeting in Russia? Is she targeting in, in... Because at the end, uh, when you see her Instagram, for example, because I was checking her Instagram, and she offers... Everything is in Russian. Mm -hmm. Right. But there is Russians... Every, um, Russian speaking, there are thousands of people, yep. like in Poland, in, in, in Ukraine, in Russia, in other, in other countries... Yeah, but the, I get your point. But what the differentiation, differentiating, differentiating point is that she is here. Because if I'm a Russian speaker somewhere else, you know, unless you are the very best and you have a, like, specifically, I look for you in another city, why would I go for a, you know, psychologist that is somewhere else? You know, probably... If I live in Russia, I will go for a Russian psychologist. Mm. Unless you have already some presence so strong built on the internet that I specifically choose you. So this is the this is the yeah. approach. If yeah. this is if this is what we're aiming for, then the approach is uh, she needs to be known because she needs to get people to get to her by, for example, by social media. Social media is the key. Yeah. But also I think it's like we, we, will, we will dig in more in social media and digital platforms and everything later. But, um, but I think it's like your service is online, is only mainly online. Okay, you, why you're focusing in one geographic area? No, no, of course. You need to be open. But again, like, like being realistic is unless you are you are the person I'm looking for, you know, I will not, I don't, I don't know if I'm explaining myself. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, I know, I understand. I understand yeah. because you, I, you prefer to be, uh, like, let's say, step by step, not building the things. But what I'm talking is about like, uh, okay, let's say, for example, like a goal, a possible goal I will think about. I want, I have the ingredients that I build my business online and mm -hmm. it's for online uh, approach. It's an online approach. Yeah. Okay. I will set my roots and my goals in being that yeah, yeah. that that, that uh, influence, maybe not influencer, but just the top, the maybe not the number one, but maybe the top 10. You need to build a very strong... Yeah, that, that's the point. Like, if you want to go fully offline, sorry, online, fully online and... and expand your your business in this direction then the the first thing that you need to do is exactly that like create a very strong online persona so people look for you yeah because this is this is what people does like if if you trust somebody you don't care where she is right you're gonna get her services but to get to that you need to be trusted and for that you need to do a lot of work uh, in social media. Yeah. So that means a lot of content, that means like reels, that means like providing a lot of like tips, advice, yeah, like this kind of engaging yeah, content. Yeah, that's true. But also at the same time, you have to be very, um, you, mm, let's say, very cautious about the content that you're, that you're uploading. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's not, I mean, 
is not a really a, a, a formula that more posts you do or you post or you publish, no, more no. successful you will be. You no, also no, you have to target the content at the end, no? Just like, and I think that's, but she, she has a business. I mean, I didn't, I don't know the market 100% about the online therapy, but I know that is, and probably everybody, everyone knows that online services are more and more, um, it's normalized. It's, it's normalized. normalized. It's, it's normalized. Yeah, it's, it's not the, yeah. Like probably like maybe like five or six years ago, that would be a no go after pandemic. Yeah, but nowadays, uh, like I would say, like fifty percent of the people I know that goes to therapy, they go online therapy. Yeah, or at least it's something that it's on the scope. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you 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 have this. You have the 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 market is like very niche market actually. Yeah, you have a very specific niche of the market. Which can be a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good, it's thing. A good thing. Obviously, just I mean, I mean, yeah. a competition. Mm, she has a really good Instagram, actually. Okay. Uh, but the thing is, like, I think it's. But we, we will go after after this. But you have the so the market opportunities are there. Mm -hmm. The resources that you need for to do that is basically like you have it already. You have a phone. You have a, you have a, a, a time. You have a skills. Mm -hmm. You have knowledge. And so. You have everything. I think is everything is in the in her favor yep. to 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 push uh, what she wants to do. Um, the, the, let's say I don't know about the prices. I I didn't ask about the prices, mm -hmm. but that's also I it was uh, intentional because uh, how people can see their prices. I was checking the, her Instagram. I didn't see anything. Yeah. Also, it's a very important thing. Mm -hmm. Financial, fin the, the financial um, um, program. I mean, um, I yeah. don't see. I don't see any having the the idea of how much she's at least how much she would she needs to to make. Yeah. To yeah, and uh, let's say for example, like the the competition, the competition or. or, or Risks that she she can have uh, external, not internal, because internal we know that she can do that, and we will explain that much, much later. And the external risks is basically not finding the right people. Yeah. External risk is yeah, just, not not reaching not not reaching the target not reaching the target audience and uh, getting uh, in consequence getting bored and getting tired and close your business. Yeah. Good thing is like this business. If you focus more on the offline part, there is one. Sorry, in the online part, I'm always making the mistake. In the online part, the good thing is like actually, you don't have big expenses. Yeah. So it's a very uh, light weighted business to carry economically. So basically, uh, it doesn't have entry barriers. And you know, it's not like you need to to set yourself to get a lot of money only to pay bills. So most of the money that you make automatically goes for you, which this is very good. Second thing is like I think that the psychological services is something that is growing, yeah, for good or for bad. So I I guess that this it's a good moment, or it's it's a good wave to to ride. Uh, but yeah, like definitely if, if we are focusing on the online part, we need to focus on the strategy online and competing with other online psychologists. Mm -hmm. First thing is that she, she mentioned only Instagram, like first advice, I will go with uh, LinkedIn profile because this is like a very professional thing. Yeah. I, I don't know, you know, it's, it's not, she's not going to get clients through LinkedIn, but if somebody uh, looks for her, she's there and yeah, it's professional. Totally. It's good. And she will showcase her experience there. I think that um, it doesn't hurt. It it hurts more not to have it than, you know, it's, it's more like you need to have it. You're not going to get anything out of this. But if you don't have it, you're losing credibility somehow. Yeah. So, well, yeah, certainly, yeah. Second, uh, I don't know if she mentioned something like, you know, in Poland we have this 
Snane Lekas. I was thinking the same. Yeah, like yeah. this is a first step. This for those who are not in Poland, uh, Snane Lekas is a basically it's a booking service for doctors. So you go there, uh, you input what you need, what service like from psychologists, cardiologists, whatever. And, and you get different professionals from the city and you can book directly an appointment. And you have there. reviews and everything. Yeah, it's, you yeah, can yeah. So obviously this is a very important step because I think that most of the people in Poland, the first thing that they do is to, I mean, if you need a doctor, you go to this web page. And then you need to compete inside that. But you need to be there. Yeah, but the coming back to the financial stuff, you have to pay to be there. And uh, it's not, I mean, it's not really super expensive, but it's not cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about like, um, because I have a friend uh, who uh -huh. is a, a therapist, is a sexologist. And then she wanted to do that. Uh, and and uh, do you know how much? Uh, it was around, I don't, can't remember exactly, but I think it was 500 slotties or something Month? like that. Yeah. Still, it's... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, course. like, it's considering that you don't have any I other think, expenses, because I'm, I'm still thinking that, again, like, the, the LinkedIn not being there, it's more harmful than... Yeah. Being, obviously. Yeah. So let's talk about because I want to focus on the marketing because marketing is going to be a really big uh, section here yeah. on this on this one, and I, I want to go on if you don't mind. Um, I want to go on the kind of like how she can make money. Yeah. I mean, like, how much? For example, I mean, let's say, um, how many? Clients, because uh, I was, it was a really common question I uh, asked to all my um, friends or people I know that are therapists. Is like, how many clients can you, um, let's say, uh, absorb every day? Yeah. Because obviously you're talking with, not every case is like, oh, I'm, uh, I feel sad. It's some yeah. really complicated, complicated cases. How many clients can you have a day? And some of them, it depends. Some of them are really hardcore. <laughs> yeah. And they go like, uh, I can go like five clients a day, which is a lot of clients. Uh, seven, ten, or oh, some people, they choose two, yeah. three, more, tops. Because also you have to, I mean, we have to understand that psychology or therapy, you need also a decomposition as a therapist. Yeah, yeah. You need time. You need to... and. You need to prepare for the other client, not only about what he's doing or what she's doing, also mentally. Yeah, like, like you cannot just work eight hours straight, like no. client after client. Like no. Okay, so let's let's start like setting. What would be like four clients per day? Four clients per day, I think is like. And let's I'm, say I'm yeah. checking prices; they vary. I'm checking in Snane Uh A consult goes from. 180 to 300 swati. Okay. I think that this is the standard is 180. Okay. Uh, I'm going to check specifically in uh, Russian language. See. Uh, yeah, because I was thinking like um, this is a really good option that you have in this website that you can search yeah. by, by language. And I can see the, the prices vary because it's more... Because normally in other languages, yeah, two hundred swati. It's the average. Okay, let's say with, let's say 200, 250. Yeah, let's see. Uh, let Let's do a very very quick calculation. Okay. So two hundred per per client. Uh, let's say five clients per day. Five days a week. Okay. It's yeah. Probably it's it's a lot. It's uh, eight hundred per day. Per week, it will be around four thousand. So four thousand per week. That means it's sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand per month. 
minus taxes. Okay, let's calculate taxes. Okay, is your is your is your stuff <laughs> numbers and stuff? That's why I think it's like a very. It's a very good combination to do a podcast between two people because it's kind of like we always have our best um, skills and best best um, yeah best uh, best things to do. We are. And I think it's very, very a good combination. Yeah, yeah it's and also while you're typing, typing, <laughs> looking, I can talk and I can tell you a lot of things, so you, he can focus on that. So it's, exactly. So yeah. And um, so yeah, I want to tell you after you, we finish this, I want to uh, tell you some stuff. I'm thinking because uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, yeah, taxes can be around one thousand five hundred. No, no, no. Sorry, more, 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 more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's uh, it can be up to five thousand in taxes. Yeah. So it's. It's a lot of money. Yeah, but I'm talking. About, we are talking about like uh, we don't know if she's focusing. If she's focusing on on Ukraine because I think she's focusing. She her clients are in Ukraine. Yeah, but still, like she will be making business in Poland. She needs to. Know. If she's located in Poland, we need to count that she's gonna pay taxes here. Oh, yeah, yeah but like, not necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, just but more or less, like yeah. whatever is gonna be like. Yeah. But more or less, let's make a calculation. If she takes two hundred, like four clients per day, yeah. I think it's doable. Two hundred spotty per client, five days a week. That goes sixteen thousand spotty uh, in the euros. That will be like four thousand euros. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more or less. Mm -hmm. uh, plus around one thousand euros in taxes. Uh, that will the final amount for her will be like around ten thousand swati, which is like two thousand euros per month minus the snanele cash and other expenses. So let's let's be like that. You are gonna make another one thousand swati in expenses. So you're gonna go for a net salary of nine thousand. It's not bad. But obviously, this is counting that you have clients every, every week. time, and it doesn't work like this. Yeah. But still, if you are aiming that, I, I guess that this should be like a realistic goal for her. Yeah. Because uh, then you can play a little bit with the prices. If you see that you need more clients, you can always reduce the prices a little bit to get yourself a little bit more competitive. And then when you get the reviews and you see that you start getting more clients. In the end, her target will be to get more money out of the same clients. Yeah, but let's let's go. For example, okay, we have the basic, right? Yeah, and um, you know me. I just I want to. I know how to. I'm really passionate about how how to get more income from yeah. other places. Yeah, yeah, doing the same the same the same business as you as you do, and I think it's also very, it will be very interesting. For example, to focus on. Uh, groups of women in Krakow or in other places that they're growing and growing every time. I mean, I don't. I remember I went. We I went to this um, uh, hackathon, this Hagia. I told yeah. you, and there was uh, also a group of women. They were like uh, because they are like uh, like promoting these the the um, more more groups of women. Yeah, and uh, you can also have or try to find these group of women who are like looking at corporations mm -hmm. in corporations and something like that and you can all because there's a lot of ukrainian people uh ukrainians not ukrainian people ukrainian people look looks look like uh <laughs> it looks it sounds bad and there is a lot of ukrainians in poland and uh, working in different companies yeah you can create a club you can do different things and you can also um do therapy sessions in group or not related with only therapy. You can also 
treat wellness, treat mm -hmm. different kind of aspects of uh, more light, uh, lightly aspects of the psychology, human psychology. And you can gain money from that. One hour on in a group, in a group uh, session, mm -hmm. it will give you more money yeah. than having uh, three or, or in one day. Yeah, yeah. That that's interesting. Uh, what I will do in that case is actually get because actually there are plenty of uh, like Belarusians and Ukrainian companies yeah. set in Poland. Yeah. Uh, because in a big corporation, this is not going to work because a big comp corporation will want to do it in English, not in 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 Russian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm talking about like um, targeting these people. Yeah. But it, it will be easier as well if you target the companies. Like you, you find because that's the thing. In the end, there is a lot of Ukrainian or Belarusian companies here. Mm. So you try to find uh, ten or twenty companies that their main language is uh, Russian. Here, that you know, like most of the people is is Russian speaker in the company. And then you offer this kind of services to the to the company, say like you hire me, I go and I you know for example, I help with burnout, I can help with a um, conciliation of life because she's targeting this uh, specific part of the business like women, so you can go and say like okay, how can you uh, conciliate like life, uh, you know, work and your outside work, life, I don't know, everything like uh, frustration because of the specific circumstance that women may have in a corporation, inequality, whatever. So I'm pretty sure that she knows much more what are the problems of the women at work. She can collect that and offer that proactively to companies. Yeah. That's, an, that's an idea to get this extra financing because it's, it's true what, what you said about like um, being extremely optimistic and having four clients a day every day um you will have this this amount of money but if but not, not yeah you need to for sure 100 for sure you need to oh, um, find something else yeah no this is an optimistic forecast yeah like we can do a less optimistic forecast uh the only thing yeah she she needs to find some extra thing to do uh, until she can for example dedicate exclusively to that it may take a while because having four clients per day it's a lot of clients yeah it's a lot of clients May, maybe she has already i don't know but, yeah. but not every day that's the thing that no no that's the thing this is a a constant like four clients every day five days a week it's yeah like probably being optimistic can have half of it and then you know we don't have enough the, again the, the good point is like most of the money that we make goes straight to the pocket but now yeah like the this nanelekash thing it's uh, one thing that she should do and then maybe we can talk uh, later about how to boost social media. Exactly. Let's do a recap, really quick recap to finish this block. Mm -hmm. um, is basically, she has a really like a niche market. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and she can, she can uh, work on that. She needs also a set of goals. Yeah. More clear. Yeah. But she knows what to do, but she needs to, a goal to grow. Yeah. How she's going to make it. And she needs a, a set of goals that is specifically for improve their work and improve their income. Exactly. In and the in the next blog, we can speak about the strategy, and as well, we can speak about what is a KPA and how she can make KPAs for for her own business to have something to measure her own progress. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, see another you in the next one. Another, another coffee. coffee and yeah. uh, we go for <laughs> Let's it. Let's go. Thank you, Cluster, for leaving us the place to make the podcast. If you guys are looking for a, a co-working space, they have three in Krakow, two in Katowice, and one in Warsaw. 
And here you can find all the amenities that you may need. They have like open spaces, conference room, and amazing kitchen. We tried the coffee, it's great. Uh, then some fruits. So thank you one more time for letting us record in the podcast here. Welcome back to Business Noir. We are with the case of Daria. And we were uh, thinking now about two things that we need to do. That is the social media strategy and the, like the internal targets. We can start with the social media, maybe? Yeah, we can start oh. with the social media, which is like, this blog is going to be huge because okay. it's kind of like, she's basically, she's doing things online, right? So it has to be huge about the marketing and stuff. Yeah, that, because that's what she said. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> 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 you're gonna help. You're gonna, yeah, yeah. you're gonna help. Um, so basically, what I think, like she, in if you have a business on online business and you have only one social media, what we talk about Instagram before, mm -hmm. as you said, she needs at least LinkedIn, and also she needs a website. Yeah. Website gives oh. you, yeah, but right now is the absolutely 100% the step number one. Yep. We, which, by the way, we make websites, Daria. If you <laughs> want, we can make you a really good one. Um, I think because I think it's very like is essential to position not only because your own, uh, in, let's say your own um, uh, reputation and yeah. your e image, but also it can give you position on Google. Yeah. Yeah, and in the end, like if if I want to look for a for a psychologist or for any kind of doctor, first thing I do is to look up their name yeah. and see what shows up. And you know, having a web page already gives you trust. Like if, if it doesn't need to be like a very complicated web page, but at least you see the face of this person, the you can track the studies that they have. Yeah. Uh, because I know uh, for a fact that in the psychologist field. It's not only about like having this specific degree, but it's about all the additional uh, education you have. Like for example, if you're a specialist uh, in some kind of yeah, different traumas or exactly, like and like. this is very important because people will be looking for specific things. Yeah, exactly. and it, it's it's you know you need to have it very clear. You have to have a very strong professional image that that gives trust to people yeah yeah totally That's and also i think is like because instagram in this kind of social media for example tiktok or something like that it can very very it can be very useful to position yourself as a um a spread the word about yeah. a, a build your own personal brand yeah but not to give you clients yeah i think give you clients is Another step is another thing, and I think peop some people can make com uh, is confused about these things. Having a lot of followers or likes on Instagram doesn't really necessarily uh, give you clients, yeah. Because at the end, the what is important is the term conversion here. Yeah, how you convert these clients, these likes and followers into clients. Yeah, because you're not an influencer. Because influencer works. Mostly, I mean, obviously, there are many, many different kind of influencers, but influencers works like you have a lot of followers and brands give you money yeah. to advertise this. It's not the followers who are giving you the money. It's the brands. It's yeah. the brands. So in this case, even if you have thousands and thousands of followers on social media, the important thing is that you need to convert these in followers and likes into clients. Yeah. Because at the end it's the only way that you're gonna have money. Yeah. Um, unless you want to do something else. That is what I think is really important to build a personal brand in Instagram. Mm -hmm. But also it's important to know how to transform these these followers and these likes into real clients. Yeah. No, like I mean like obviously 
Uh, Instagram is good for giving value so you can showcase your skills, which is okay. But eventually, especially for a psychologist, you need like this trusted image. You need to trust. It's it's a very delicate yeah. uh, field. Yeah. And one of the most important parts in this field is like, how do you trust this person? And you need to feel that you're going to a professional. So definitely, step one is the web page where yeah. you can see, you know, again, clear image who you are. I want to see your face. I want to see who you are. I want to see that you're a real person. I want to see what is your journey in psychology, uh, what is your your experience, very academic. For me, it's very important to know what is your formation, what is your specialties. And again, it doesn't need to be complicated, but... It's it's a first step step to trust you. Yeah. yeah, totally, totally. Because at the end, it's still like um, we are talking about people. I mean, women who can have very like couple problems or like uh, about a divorce or something like that, but also very serious. So I mean, you need to trust. And also, I think it's important to know, uh, as you said, like to show um, who you are, yeah. because mostly. Also, be, be, um, besides trust, is also the connection that you have with the therapist. Yeah. Mm, if you don't have a connection, it can be the best psychologist in the world. But if you, as a patient, you don't have a connection, you're not gonna hire this person. Absolutely. Because at the end, you're gonna tell this person a lot of personal stuff, right? Yeah. So you need to be like create your own personal brand on 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 Instagram, and communicating this. You're gonna build this kind of a connection with the clients, and um, yeah. So sorry, you want to tell? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think it's like a, a, a marketing is like uh, you have to interact, trying to interact with clients at the end. Yeah. Try to tell because uh, let's say that you offer your services on 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 Instagram or like something like that. But at the end, just how, uh, again, how you can convert these, these potential viewers into clients. Mm -hmm. You need to g give them, uh, it's like tunneling all these, all, these, all these people to your website. Yeah. And this website needs to have a, a, a certain elements. Let, let's talk about the main elements I think you should have in the okay. website. It's a booking system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's crucial. Yeah, you need also uh, Zoom, uh, Google Meet, uh, Google uh, whatever, uh, a Skype, but it's something that is allowing you to have more than uh, 31 hour of, of, of meetings. Yeah, there's another expense that we need to calculate because yeah. it's not a big expense. No, oh, we, we saw it the other day, I yeah. think, yeah. So it it's, it's like... I remember like it's like $20 per month. No, no, no. It was so 11, a, 11, 11, 11, 12 dollars. Uh, 11. So it, it's not a big expense, but it's there. It's, it's there. there. It's a, it's it's a there. new thing. Yeah. yeah but it's com something that and you need. And the that. Man maintenance on the web page and so on. So, yeah. And let's say inside the web page, you need a contact form. You need an email. Yeah. Which is basically like it's included in everything. Uh, what else you will need? You will need uh, maybe some. Maybe some videos about you, about explaining what is the process, for example. Mm -hmm. She has, um, if you see the website, the Instagram, sorry, you can see that she has a really nice aesthetic point of view. Okay. She's can can really you give good. me the, the Instagram sure. so I can yeah, sure, check sure. it in the meantime? Because I would like to see what is her approach. Uh, let me check on the Instagram. Uh-huh. But yeah, I'm, my my point is like I will do something simple in the web page, but mm -hmm. efficient. Like yeah. it's like think what we want to reach. Like exactly. obviously, booking system. Booking system is is crucial. It's crucial. Uh, okay, is like uh, is p s y mm -hmm. dot daria o. On the end. Daria O. Okay. PSY, Daria O. So if anybody is listening to us and wants to check. You can check her. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, she, I see she is very much into aesthetics. Yeah, she is really good. Yeah. It's a, it's a, a, a very nice. Okay. She shows her face. She's also talking to the camera. She's always explaining a lot of things. Obviously, it's in Russian, so yeah, we well, cannot <laughs> understand what she's doing. But you can see general idea about what she's what she has, and she's really good. Yep. She has yeah. a lot of. Uh, but she only has one hundred fifty followers. Yep. And th- again, the uh, the followers yeah, are useful. Only if you can convert these yep. followers into clients, or at least they, they can comment on doing that. And she has also a Telegram. Yeah. And again, she, she needs more. She needs more, more platforms. LinkedIn, as you said, mm-hmm. because you can connect with other people. It's really, really interesting. Also, you can create content. You can create content besides um, besides a, a Instagram. Okay. Let's say, for example, you write a, bl- a blog in the website, or no. in LinkedIn, for example. Yeah. No, what I see is like she has this kind of like she is posting a lot in the Telegram channel, which I think that it's very smart. Uh, you know, when you go to her Telegram, uh, there is she's posting and she's creating some kind of community. Which is it is really good. Yeah, totally. I so she is not that, that. I think that she is good at social media. Well, I mean, I would say like she's spending a lot of time uh-huh. <laughs> because she wants to. She wants to do that. She wants to make it work. Okay. But the thing is, like, uh, as we said, you can spend. The whole, the whole world, and the whole time of the world, building a really nice content on social media. But uh, are you addressing the right people? Are you addressing the right content to them? Yeah. Because maybe they, I, I, that's the the pity here is that we don't understand Russian, so we don't know if the content is accurate for what she's doing. Yeah. But. We can, we, we can. I mean, we we can try to actually. T- um, I'm I'm just translating some of the posts that exactly. she has. Uh, and that's the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like they're like basically like like posts about psychology, like. But again, social media. We, we we need to be like we really like precise about what we want to do on social yeah. media. We want to focus on solutions. We want to focus on we are gonna give you this, we are gonna give you that. It's not about who I am, which is also important, but also what are you gonna have? Who I am, what I'm doing. The same things that you were saying as uh, this important to build trust on the yeah. website, to know the education that you have, Everything that you have, uh, specializing, but also in, in social media, you also have to 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 tell people how you're gonna help them. Yeah, like what what can they get if they hire you? Because in the end, let's let's face it, the the final goal is you to help people. Yeah. But still, get money out of that so you can help more people. Like let's let's not be naive, and this is how it it works. Uh, you need the money so you can help more people, but you can do something that that is it's helping. So how can you tell people that their money will be well spent in a session with you? What can you get out of this session? Why you may need that? And what are the benefits of this or in which moment you should seek for help? It's not yeah. like this. I think that this is more or less what we need. More to or less. But also what this imp- will be very interesting and very important is to know and targeting what uh, the, the client profile client profile is really a basic for this actually to build this this the social media and everything on online a client profile is really like demanding job but also really important mm-hmm. uh, at least to understand not the demand- i wouldn't say demanding but just really like it's complicated to do yeah. accurately 
right? Because I'm thinking about like we will be. It will be very interesting to know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which profile? I mean, what they're doing and which social media are using the her audience? Yeah. Uh, because we are talking about different country. We've got a different different way of uh, understanding um, social media, right? If I know there is a, a, uh, some really um, web page like Facebook, but only for Russian speakers. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that will be interesting to know and to dig more about what systems and what they do You, I mean, what the, the profile client that you have, the target, the, the target, what they do, the behaviors they have, and what they consult to do to 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 do that. Yeah, and that's also research about what uh, is not only about what I think it should be. It's also research. Yeah. So, like, look, like, try to profile the client that you may have. Uh, so, in the in the high level is. Again, we go back to women, like Russian-speaking women, but not exclusively because she mentioned that she could do it in English. So yep. that opens a door. But obviously, if you need to specialize, uh, the specialty will be like this Russian speaker uh, women. Second, uh, that will be like if we go deep, it's like what kind of specialty? Because there's one thing that I don't know about her is like, There are plenty of therapists. We know what is the kind of client that she wants to target, but what kind of therapy she offers? What is her specialty? Yeah. I don't know if she is like doing like a, this cognitive conductual or humanistic yeah. approach. I, I don't know like all the different approaches in, uh, in psychology, but that will be very interesting to really, and I'm going to try to translate her. Uh, Instagram page, but okay. I haven't seen anything like that. Okay, no. uh, that and that's it's something because when I go to therapy or uh, some of my friends go to therapy or whatever, if you go normally to a specific kind of therapy, you just don't go to whatever. Yeah, unless it's very general. But people like to understand what are they going for. Yeah, and there is one more and more, um, let's say, uh, people are more conscious and they're, like, they're conscious about what, how important is uh, mental therapy, uh, therapy, psychological therapy and everything. So it's kind of like people are more aware of what they're doing because some years ago we were like, you go to a therapy and that's mm -hmm. it. That's the yeah. only thing. I got, uh, yeah. Basically, what she says in the description of the Instagram, mm -hmm. from uh, from beginning of circumstances to the author of your life, in five sessions, I can get out. I can get you out of uh, of the crisis. Okay. So basically, I guess she's focusing on crisis, no? Uh, no, I wouldn't say crisis, but just solutions that needs to be quick. Yeah. Five sessions is nothing. But still, for for me, that, and that's a personal opinion. I think that it's very vague. Mm. I, uh, yeah, yeah. Especially if you have only Instagram. Yeah. If you will have a website, that will be okay. It's fine. You can yeah. link it. To, to, I don't know. Just maybe last thing, like, like imagine yeah. I I I I. I'm not in her network. I'm not a friend because I guess that right now she goes like she can. If people that know her can hire her, but if you don't know her and I get to her profile and the only thing I have this, sincerely, I will not trust. I'm so, like this, and I'm gonna be like tight here, but I'm not getting really specifics. Like from a big thing of the circumstances to author of your life, that sounds more like. Uh, you know, self development book than really like professional psychologist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In five sessions, I help to get out of a personal crisis. I don't like that because personally, you're limiting yourself actually. And a trusted professional doesn't promise you something like that. Yeah. It's like I see your case and let's see how many sessions yeah. we need for your problem. Not like you know, this is not an industry like. 
everybody in five sessions is going to be okay. That's um, uh, maybe it's just, if it's true, it may, um, because maybe it's like, even if it's true, yeah. Um, or if it's completely possible, you don't do that because actually, like, yeah, I think it's much better to say. I'm helping you with this, not how quick you, I'm going to help exactly. you. Exactly. No, but that's the thing. Like, I think that the strategy, it's something that can work in other industries. Uh, but this is, a, this is a personal matter. I don't want you to tell me, like, in five sessions I'm going to be fixed. If, because uh, it's not realistic. Yeah. Like, let's face it. I want you to take the time that it needs. Two yeah. sessions or 25 sessions. Yeah, it's like going to but a lawyer and just say, like, in five, se in five, uh, in five meetings, I'm going to solve your case. So like, mm. Yeah, for me, it's like you are, you are promising something that, so for me, it's like it's not professional. This is what I'm saying. Like, yeah, yeah, I totally like understand. It, it's, it's not that she's not professional. It doesn't sound professional in the matter that that it looks like you're trying to hook me into a service uh, to give me like one random solution. So I will totally change that because this is so far the only information I have about her. Yeah. So this is the first thing I see. And it's like, it, it looks much more like a internet coach. Yeah. And also it was a really interesting article uh, I read some time ago. It was like... Uh, how much i mean um it was they they made a calculation about how many how much time people spent on their pro, your profile before uh -huh. before uh follow, deciding to follow you or not uh -huh. and it was like um, one second or something like that like it like super fast so in let's say 2 seconds or 3 seconds they this they make a decision if they're gonna follow you or not to follow you, yeah. And it's like you need to have the the the, the visual image about like really like really well done, yeah, to make it really clear. Actually, yeah, I, would say. I think in my opinion that she should step away from this idea of fast solution and focus on professional, like more. I don't know. In the profile, I will put like uh, her studies her special specialty. Yeah. Like, you know, I will trust much more if she's like a uh, master degree in psychology is from that university, specialized in women. Uh, that's it. I mean, like, you don't need much more. Specialized in women and then, you know, I do this therapy, this therapy, this therapy. Yeah. Boom. Straightforward. I'm not selling you yeah. uh, an impossible dream. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm a professional and this is my specialty. If you're a woman that speaks Russian and you need this kind of therapy, I'm your person. Yeah. And also, I think it's really like, um, it, it will be very useful to, because we, if we're talking about marketing, okay, l l how we can just um, improve the marketing. Yeah. I think it will be like very interesting to have a feedback, real feedback from from your clients yeah. to show how good you are, yeah, and how you can help, and you will be helping other people. That will be very interesting to count with your clients or your past clients or your or your yeah. like current clients. Uh, you you don't need to make a video or something like that, but because there's a privacy between um, uh, yeah, of therapist course. and doctor <clears throat> and, and, and patient, but. To, but at least something. Yeah. I guess that like there are like three things right out of that. Like the Snane Lekash page can be very useful yeah. for that because it's, you know, but as well the web page, you can ask uh, past clients to write you a, a little review and be specific. Like try to, you know, like, oh, I like... That yeah, it was very nice. That doesn't give context, but what made this special? I liked the session with Daria because she was uh, a good listener, and she provided me with certain tools. And because, and especially like the before and after, yeah. because of her, now I do that. And I, it can be difficult, as you said, because this this privacy. But you can, but you can send, for example, a, a questionnaire. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. to your clients. I think that, for example, if she has like different clients, she can go and just make a, a round of past clients, say, if anybody would like to do something like that, focusing on this, like, what what did you learn? What did you learn from me? How going through therapy changed your life and why? Uh, without specifics, just, oh, I learned how to control my anxiety because she gave me this and this tool. This is what people is going to like. Yeah. Not like, because if, if you just get this whatever, uh, whatever review, it looks like fake. It yeah. needs to be specific. It needs to give you specifics. Yeah. And also, I think it's like um, um, to do in a recap, no? Just yeah. because we're going to go to the to the next step. Because, it's, yeah, as we talk, it was huge, this topic. Yeah. Um, also, uh, checking the, the Ukrainian yeah. sites. And so, because I'm sure there has to be like uh, different other websites like that. And also Google reviews. Google reviews. Google page. You need to Google a Google page. It's mm -hmm. free. You can do that. You're gonna be even even more helpful for your website, for the all the strategy about CEO, and you're gonna give you a lot of uh, a reputation okay. as well. So okay, let's let's recap what she will need in this part. It's Google page. Uh, I will change the Instagram description. Uh, I think that the Instagram content, I cannot check it, but it doesn't look bad. But I guess that we will need to speak with her and, and see exactly yeah. what she is trying to target with the yeah. Instagram page. Oh, yeah, also, we have, the, we have uh, our social media management also, mm -hmm. which is... Uh, her own web page. Uh, and there's Nanele Cash profile and everything needs to be very professional uh, emphasizing what she can do what she can provide not uh, you know ethereal promises mm -hmm. very straightforward this therapy this is my specialty this is my preparation this is my master this is we need to differentiate this from any other kind of like coaching, gurus, whatever. It's very professional psychologist that has helped a lot of people. Yeah. And she should go and get reviews from clients with specific tools that the clients can apply to her to their life. Yeah. Build reputation. Exactly. Build reputation and also keep working on the personal branding. Yeah. Because the personal branding is great. I think it's great. Perfect. So just like um yeah. Um Okay, we, I think we, I mean, yeah, we will talk about a lot. If you guys, if you are listening, or guys or girls, if you are like listening to this podcast and you have any doubt or anything, you can contact us on the website placeboparadox.com and we will be happy to, to, I mean, we have different services. We have social media management. We have website builders, uh, designers. Uh, we have content creation. Uh, we have a creative director who is helping us. And uh, mentoring, if you have a business, if you want to do that. Because some people need mentoring, some people mm -hmm. need other things. And it's really, uh, it's, I think it's, it's important to know what you, what you need. We have, uh, we have it here. And um, as a recap, I think we have everything under control. We're going to go for the next block, right? So right away, and it's gonna be the last one and the and the most exciting, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So see, see you there. Later. Hello again. Uh, we are Borja and Nico from the podcast Business Noir, and well, this is a message about we are um, preparing a workshop that is gonna be available in November in Krakow, in cluster uh, co-working, and uh, well, I mean. Yeah, basically, if if you listen to our podcast and you like what we do there, the aim is to teach people to start doing exactly what we do with their own businesses. So it's going to be a six hours workshop and we will have a lot of like nice content, but as well, we will have uh, networking and the best part of it will have paella and wine. Yeah, because we are Spanish and we thought it would be like... What is the most authentic thing about being yeah. Spanish? The food and wine, right? Yeah, and also, I think we we want for you to have fun 
but also learning, but have fun and just to integrate uh, all these knowledge that we normally do at, in the workshop. For you, if you're thinking to build an idea, a business, that you have an idea that you know why and how and how much it will cost, uh, this workshop will give you these elements that you can work and you can discover if it's possible, if it's not possible, or if it's a good idea, or I need to develop more and more ideas on, 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 on the topic that you want to talk mm -hmm. And if you want more information about that, you can find it in placeboparadox.com. And as well, feel free to follow us in our LinkedIn profile. You can find us there. Exactly. And uh, we will. We have limited places, so uh, be quick to do that because we are expecting to um, to be uh, very successful in this. In this, because I think it's is one of the topics that people are uh, looking for, and we are we really like uh, looking forward to to see you there. Keep enjoying the podcast and thank you for listening. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, welcome back. We are back in the last blog of this episode dedicated to Daria, our psychologist. And I think that in this blog we can speak a little bit about the KPIs that she can set or like some recommendations because it's something that she will need to, to learn and how to, to set herself. Mm -hmm. But if you want, I can explain a little bit what is a KPI in the corporate world. Yeah, that would be very interesting. Yeah. KPI, it's, uh, uh, it means like the meaning is key performance indicator. Basically, it's something that is measurable and that you can use to understand the progress uh, of any of the um, parts of your business. It can be somehow it's your target. You set what is the target that you want to do and it can be in terms of clients economical clients conversion we will speak in details but basically it's something that you review on a weekly basis for example and you to understand if you are reaching the targets that you want and this will help you for example if you're not reaching your kpis either your kpis are very um like you are like reaching for too high and you need to change the KPIs or maybe your strategies are not good or if you are over delivering, maybe that means that your business can grow. It's the moment of grow and dream bigger. Okay? Yeah. Makes sense? Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Good. So uh, let's, let's go for like very high level KPIs for Daria. Mm, one can be actually the money that she's making. That's, you know, set. We, we said, for example, we make a, uh, in the first block, we make a calculation. If she will have four clients per day to specific rates, blah, 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 this is what she will make. Okay. Uh, we counted like 16, like bruto, 16,000 swati. That can be a target for her. Let's say, like, on a weekly basis, I'm going to make 4,000 OT. And then, see, this is brutal. Uh, but then she will need to decide, like, if this is a realistic goal. She knows the industry better than us. She already has clients, and she knows how many clients she can have. So you need to be in the point of not being extremely optimistic, but as well, it needs to be a target that pushes you to do things to reach the next level. Because if you go and say, like, yeah, the easy thing is to get 500 spotty per week, then you're never you're, you're going to over deliver. So that means that that you need to to go into a different direction. So this is one idea. Other idea that uh, it just came to my mind is a conversion rate. I think that this is very important. Yeah. You, know, you have followers, you have people that reach your web page how much of these people actually buys your products yeah. and understand like you calculate this percentage and apply different strategies to try to make this percentage bigger by understanding you know if people go to your web page but they don't purchase why is that maybe people that goes to your page is not the right people or 
you know, you will need to to find a way to understand why is that. Yeah. These are the two main KPIs that I can think. What do you think? Yeah, is I think there? so. I think it's the main, I mean, it's a starting point because it can give you after um, with those those two uh, KPIs. Basically, you can see if you can grow and how you can grow, and when you reach your goal on these uh, after these things, then you can think about the next ones. But at the first, will be like the necessary things. But again. You need a website because, yeah. yeah, I mean, for example, you have a meta business suite, which is like basically the tool from base from Facebook to measure measure the Instagram mm -hmm. and everything. But you need a certain amount of uh, followers to know that. Yeah, but with the website, it's much it's more accurate actually. Yeah, because you're gonna have also uh, with it's more complicated also because mm -hmm. you need a Google. Uh, Google Tag Manager, you need to Google Analytics and everything is good, more technical stuff, but uh, it still is more possible to do. Um, but then after that, I think it's very important to know that, uh, and I think it's one of the main things people forget. You don't need to be an expert in technical stuff, like, for example, how to read the analytics, how to... Um, Uh, create these uh, these conversion rates and everything on Google uh, on Google Tag Manager or whatever. You don't need to do that, but you need to be aware why you need to why you need to 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 do. Let's say, for example, um, I don't know. I want a a car, right? I want a car. Mm -hmm. um, I don't need to know mechanics. I I, yeah, I, yeah. I I don't need to know how to change the engine, but I need to know what I'm gonna buy. Yeah. And I need to yeah, know. You, you need to know what you what you want exactly. Yeah, not, not not how. But not yeah. yeah, exactly, and not totally. Not totally. You don't need to understand mm, in how internet works or anything. Absolutely. But you need to know that you need to you need to Im increase your efforts on on internet. I think I think a lot of people is afraid of doing that <laughs> of uh, because of because exactly what you say. Like people think that you need to be an expert on anything. And here I will say. A uh, couple of things. There is one theory I like very much, and I apply in everything that I do, in every operation that I manage. Is the black box theory. Black box theory is basically to manage an operation. You just you don't need to know what happens inside. You just need to know to know what are the inputs. I mean, like what you need to offer, and what is the expected output. And then you find whoever like whatever happens in the middle. It's okay that you have an overview, but you don't need to be an expert on that because. There are experts on that already. Mm -hmm. So there are a couple of things that you mentioned, a uh, couple of things that I want to say about what you mentioned, about Google Tag Manager and so on. It's very intimidating world. I understand that. But uh, there is uh, actually Google provides a free uh, support for that. I know it because I was managing this operation for EMEA region for, for some years. Uh, and they're like amazing guys uh, <laughs> that... I, I help to set this this project, so it's it exists. So you don't need to know nothing about Google. Just to call the guys and said, "I want this," and they will help you to set everything, and it's free. And second, it's something that people's not using: artificial intelligence. Guys, there is this uh, generative AI like ChatGPT, Gemini, whatever. Uh, well, our recommendation is basically ChatGPT and Copilot. Yeah. I mean, this is uh, the the ones that we are using. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I didn't use Gemini so much, but again, I'll just test them. My my opinion is like paying a subscription for um, ChatGPT, for example. It's a very safe value because it's not very expensive, and the what you get out of this is amazing. And then let's imagine I'm Daria, and I want to set my you know, some things in my web page. I just go to this and I, you know, it will help me. Don't get any, the generative AI, it's a it's a tool. It's not going to do the job for you, but it's an assistant that you can use and it will provide you. And the magical thing is like, even if, if you put something and it explains you in a very difficult way, you say to the AI, yeah, explain me like if I'm a 10 years old kid. And it will change the way that it explains to you so you can understand it. So use these tools because that will boost your, your productivity like hell. So uh, 
I don't know what we were talking about. <laughs> I just got caught up into With that. With AI, no, I think yeah. AI. I think we is our recommendation is like yeah. we have a lot of tools that we don't know. I mean, people in general we don't know that exist. Yeah. Uh, and I remember it was like uh, um, it was uh, when I was doing photography. Uh, I remember I went to this um, uh, exhibition mm -hmm. in, in 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 Barcelona, a really huge one. Uh, And I, I, I don't think that exists anymore. But anyway, well, whatever. I saw guys that were like doing this, developing the first version of a program. Uh -huh. They were introducing that. I was studying uh, photography, so I got uh, free ticket for that because normally it's quite expensive. And uh, and then I was really interested because it was like uh, over top technology, right? Mm -hmm. They were not using AI because it was not a thing, but they were using a lot of automotive uh, tools and different things to achieve something that uh, basically doing modifications about color. Okay. Right? And I got so, so on hype on this. On okay. This I'm talking about like I was 20 something, it was like mm -hmm. long ago. And then I got, I, uh, uh, I got the license from this program because it was like super, super mm -hmm. useful. And it was saving time. Yeah. Saving time. And it was so successful and so revolutionary that it still exists today, this yeah. software. And the, the, most, the most funny thing is like it was bought by Google uh -huh. at some point. And then Google sold, sold it to another, to another <laughs> company. Okay. And, but exists still today. Mm -hmm. And what they do is solving, and solving problems that you normally will take long time to do yeah. manually. The same thing with AI. Yeah. It doesn't matter how good AI is if you don't know what to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how to manage this. And I think is people normally they um let's say like um uh underestimate how difficult can be uh not difficult, I will say like how how much potential you can have yeah. if you know how to use AI. Yeah, absolutely. Now it's a it's a you know ten times boost your productivity. So coming back to the case of Daria, the the one big recommendation is get any AI system and start working around that because for example, uh, you know what are the KPIs. So Daria in the end will need to set her own KPIs. And understand what she wants for the business in the long term, in the in the mid term, and then that's very good because already this is something that she can control, uh, and she can measure week on week and and see if she is making progress. Then with the help of AI, you can analyze this or you can find strategies that are new to you. Like for example, let's say uh, in terms of conversion. Uh, you don't know where to start if your conversion is very bad. You can ask, okay, so I have this problem, this, that. Where can I start looking for problems? And it will give you a, a, the first step. Obviously, the work is yours. Yeah. Uh, you need to, to see, again, taking the conversion, like what kind of people is reaching your page from where they come. Maybe you need to invest a little bit of money in ads. Then you do that, you check if it goes better. If it doesn't go better because you already have your, your you know, you are measuring every week. So you know what is your normal trends. So then you pay and you can compare. Okay. Oh, this is an increase. That's good. I will keep uh, making ads. Maybe I will do like five different ads and see which one works better. Uh, making ads doesn't work at all. Then you know that mm, investing money in this It's not a good strategy for you, and you will need to find something else. This is a very creative process. Yeah, it's a very interesting, but you need to to get there and you know ask for help if you don't know how to do it. But yeah, yeah, I'll ask for help. But also, I think the the difficult, the critical thing is is how to uh, um, interpret the data that you have from mm -hmm. this from these from the results. Yeah, and that's some some. Um, maybe at some point you will need help. Yeah, you will need help to interpret that. It depends. Um, it depends what you because it's very tricky. It's not for everyone. It's just like, and sometimes it's very complicated. Yeah, and I think that. But it's something definitely you can do. Is basically like apply all these things that you said, mm -hmm. uh, just to wait for results. And yeah, just to try to and to and having like this again, like probably if we 
uh, dig deeper into Daria's business and we will have like some like more meaningful conversations. We will come up with other uh, KPIs that we can talk. But I think that these three are like, it's a very good beginning. Like how much money are we making uh, per week or per month? Uh, what is our conversion rate? And the other, I forgot already what I said. <laughs> no, but basically, what we, we we're trying to say, like, is like, um, um, it's something that is in progress because we don't know. Yeah. And it's something that we need to actually. You need to plan. You, we, you, you need to plan to become to be aware of these things because these KPIs that you were mm. saying is like we are thinking about something that. Um, Improvising, yeah. as we always say, yeah, well. and it doesn't matter how many we have right now. We thought about these three, like as yeah. a, as a yeah. quality of service. I don't know if I mentioned before, but the reviews actually can be a KPI. Yeah, like getting getting score uh, in certain page, like make sure that you don't go down lower than five, like four point nine, and you get at least like. I don't know, 80% of the people that goes to your consult to write something positive about you. Yeah. That can be a, as well a KPI that will push you to make sure that after every consultation or our, uh, every session or every like working four times with a patient, you, hey, are you liking that? You know, if you will write something like this, it will be very helpful for me. And actually it will be. And yeah. it's, a, it's a target for you to do. It's something that you have, you, you cannot control if people will do it but you can control if you push for that. Yeah, and oh. it doesn't it doesn't count if you tell your friends to write a review. No, no, it needs to be like uh, people, and it's, it's what we said in the previous blog. It needs to be something that really gives real information to people that is about to purchase your service. And it's exactly what you said. I mean, about like you need real information. Exactly. You need real information to make real decisions yeah. at the end about what you're doing. And this builds credibility as well. Yeah, totally. Like it's, if I see like, I think that we spoke about that, if I see like, yeah, Daria is very good. Okay, yeah, like I can write that. But if somebody says like, because of Daria, I learned this tool that helped me with this situation. And now instead of doing this, I do that. Then that's something I may like it. Yeah. It's Maybe it's exactly what I need. Yeah. And give me the trust that somebody has been through that. Yeah. So yeah, the innovations basically is uh, and the recommendations is basically goals, having a set of goals, integrating technology like AI, mm -hmm. measuring your data, yeah, changing your social media and your digital identity mm -hmm. online, focusing on 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 the results that you can give, you can provide to people. And what else? I'm missing something? No, I think that's it. Yeah? Yeah. And, okay. Um, basically, that's the and call to action, no? Just, yeah. Uh, call to action to people just to make these conversions rate, the conversion rate has to be high. Has yeah. to be like, oh, I wouldn't say high, but just, mm, let's say, um, it has to be good. You need to baseline what you have and start working in and see progress. Yeah. Like you see, like if your con conversion rate is, I don't know, like 5%, 6%, I don't know what can be. If you're not a technical person, uh, you need to hire people. Yeah. And you need to put, uh, yeah, I mean, I know it's sometimes it's kind of like, a, it's extremely difficult to make a decision about this. But um, I don't know if uh, if I will need, for example, to grow in a let's say if I um, I don't know a business about like I need some uh, uh, I don't know because I do a lot of stuff in my in in, in my life. But let's say, for example, I am a photographer, right? Mm -hmm. And I need uh, some videos. Uh, yeah, you can do some videos, for example. But if you don't want to do that you need to hire someone. Yeah. In the end, you need to see it as an investment. If yeah. you, I mean, like, I always recommend to try, try to learn, but in the moment that you hit the limitation, find somebody that can help you with that because in the end, it's your business and you need to make it grow. And the good thing, like, 
the advantage, as we said, is like this business doesn't require a lot of money. Like it's it's not like a cafe. Like you need to to buy supplies, pay a rent, blah blah blah. Exactly. So in the end, all this kind of money will need to go to investment uh, in areas that you are limited. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's not like hiring people because you you don't need to hire anyone. It's yeah. just more like using knowledge to grow. That's the thing. That's I agree. Thing. Um, okay. Something else that you want to? No, I think that that's it. I think that the, we 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 dig into the the case of the of case. Daria. I think that we we got some good insights about that. Uh, like always, wishing Daria the best. Yeah. And as you mentioned at the beginning, if you like listener of this podcast. You have a business and you are starting or you are struggling or you want to start a business and you would like to be part of this podcast and you would like us to make a quick uh, analysis and give some recommendations. Contact us and be part of the experience. Yeah, and uh, about that, um, where? In placeboparadox.com mm -hmm. on the website. You will have all the, all the information. Also, we have a new a new page, a new section of the page, mm -hmm. of the website. It's called Workshops, where we will publish everything that we do, uh, events, meetings, uh, um, workshops, because we are preparing a workshop. Yeah. It's going to be very soon. Probably when this is, will be published, we will be like pretty soon. But if you are interested to, to follow us and just to talk more about business or you have some doubts, you can visit the website and we will have it. Uh, we will put the link on the description here and uh, it will be very very good i think for us we can see or we can just check some comments and some feedback why we can change yeah what will be like the best part for you what will be like more um interesting to see and as he said you don't you don't need to be uh, in in poland in krakow uh to contact us but if you are please yeah, contact us and we will be more than happy to talk with you and just uh, yeah absolutely and one more time thank you to Damian and Cluster for let us the space to record that yeah and see you next week um, see you next week thank you bye bye bye